Hello and welcome to the second video of the SQLi X series. In this video, I am going to introduce you to SQLi IDE. The SQLi IDE can be launched by double clicking the run SQLi X dot batch file. You can also create a shortcut on the desktop if you want to. So I am going to double click it and I am going to open it. When we open the SQLi X IDE, there is a scripting section on the right side. It contains an untitled document. There is a messages window towards the bottom. And then on the left, we have various options such as find, find all, wait, click, double click. These are mouse actions. We also have keyboard actions such as type and paste. So first of all, I'm going to show you a very simple test case in which we are going to click on the start menu. We are going to type calculator and then we are going to click the calculator icon and we are going to make sure that the calculator window has shown up or not. So let me close the calculator window. And first of all, I'm going to select the click option on the left side under mouse actions. All right, so now the screen has turned gray and this means that Sikuli wants me to select an image on the screen. So I'm going to take the cross here to the windows icon and I'm going to select this part very carefully. Just like this. After this, I am going to click the type option over here. So when I click type, you can see that the method name type is showing on the screen and inside that there is text written. So if I want to put my text over here, for example, I want to put calculator over here. I will have to put a double quotes in here and between those double quotes, I am going to write calculator. This is how you specify a string variable in a programming language. This is Python script, but it is a very simple form of Python script and you can learn it very easily. Don't worry about the script for now. Okay, so the next option which I want to perform is I want to click on the calculator icon when it shows up after typing calculator just like this. The problem is if I go back to IDE and I select the click option here, the calculator option is disappearing and I cannot rely on this calculator icon which is showing by default over here because if I will run on a new machine, this calculator option might not show there. So I need to make sure that every time I type calculator in this, bo in this box so that the calculator icon, the application icon is shown on the screen. All right. So now there is a very easy workaround for this which is provided by the SQLi X IDE. I will type calculator and then when this option is going to show up, what I can do is I can simply press Control Shift and the 2, number 2, Control Shift 2. When I will press this, the select an image icon or the interface is going to show on screen and I will take the crosshairs over to the calculator application like this and I will simply select it just like that and now I'm going to press left key one time and I will type click 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 and then a left bracket and now I will press the right key and then I will press the shift right bracket just like that. So now we have this much script written. I'm going to press control S to save the script. I highly recommend that you save all the scripts related to SQLi in a separate folder. I have created a folder named SQLi workplace and I have already tried to run the calculator once and I failed. So uh, that's why we already have a run calculator file over here. So I'm going to name this one calculator run just to keep things different. Number two and I will click save over here. All right. So this is it. The last thing which we want to do is we want to make sure that the calculator application has fired up or not. 
but before that let us just click the run button on the top over here it is also saying that we can press alt shift c to stop okay that is to stop i, th I thought maybe it is an option to run <laughs> all right so click this like that calculator voila the calculator application is open that's wonderful so the last thing which i want to make sure is i want to make sure that before i click any button before i do anything else the calculator menu is shown like the calculator icon and the menu underneath it is shown so how can we do that let me show you we have this weight option over here right here i'm going to click the weight option and i'm going to select this image over here like for example just like that and i can also specify how many seconds should uh, this script wait so i am going to put a comma after the image and i'm going to put two over here that is wait for two seconds if the image does not show let me save all right and now after that we can simply perform 2 plus 2 equals to 4 let us do that again i will say click all right 2 and then again click let's make it 3 and another click equals to oh sorry i missed one step yeah so over here i will press enter now say click i'll come here and i will select the plus button right here like that so now two plus three and i want to press equals to and then it must be five okay for that so exist is yet another function exists that's with an s it is going to return true if the image is found otherwise it is going to return false so i am going to click the insert image oops click the take screenshot hmm. just like that and i will close the bracket then i will go to the start of the line and i'm going to in fact let us make that change later on so first of all i will just save it i will close the window like this and then then i'm going to click the run option over here calculator it is opened two plus three equals five and that is it so now you can see the log uh, on the bottom of the screen is showing that it is done some operations like click on this location then type the word calculator then click on these locations so all automation testing works based on the triple a principle the triple a principle is arrange act and assert we can see that we have arranged the test over here for example like this this can be termed as the arrange so this is arrange so we can say that okay i tried to put some comments in there and i don't know how to do it so it didn't work so just forget it so this part where we click the start button and we type calculator that can be considered uh, the arrange part in fact the click on the calculator link is also a part of the arrange part and after that we perform some actions that is the second day the act part like when we click the number two click the plus sign click three and click equal and then there is the assert part assertion is basically assertion means that we are trying to make sure that some results have been shown or not so there is a method called assert a w s e r t assert so if true will be supplied to this method then this method will pass otherwise it will fail 
so I am going to type assert a left bracket and I am going to put the exists number 5 inside of this uh, in these two brackets and now I am going to save them and I will just click the run option all right so now this means that everything has been done correctly and uh, let's suppose if we like make some changes over here but I don't know how to make this test fail for now but you should be happy with this much I believe that we have created our own very first small script uh, we are going to go baby steps in this series of videos and we are going to learn together so if you have any more questions please uh, put those in the comment section please ask those on any social media where you are watching this video and please feel free to get in touch I would love to hear back from you if you think this series should go in a specific direction if you think that I should add something specific just let me know and we can definitely work it together Thank you very much for watching uh, and if you are watching this on YouTube please do subscribe to my channel, do like the video, do share it to your friends. If you are on LinkedIn then please do follow. Thank you very much and stay in touch. See you again on next Thursday. One new automation video every Thursday. See you. Bye.